Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. If you've added a contact form to your Squarespace website recently that collects email addresses, you might have noticed this automatic checkbox. Now, inside the Squarespace editor, we can't actually change the text that is next to the text box, at least at the time of recording this video. For that, we need custom CSS, and that's exactly what I'll teach you how to do in this tutorial. Now, to be super duper clear, before we even get started, this is not legal advice. I am not giving you legal advice. It is your responsibility to make sure that your website is compliant and that the information you collect is done in a compliant way. So again, not legal advice, but I would love to teach you how to change that text to be anything you want it to be. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to add it to Squarespace and what the three parts of this code are that you'll want to change. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace. When you add a form that requires an email, this is the automatic text that shows up and that's what we'll be changing with custom CSS. We want this to happen for every form on our website, so we're gonna navigate to website, then select website tools, and then custom CSS. This is where we'll paste the code that's listed underneath the video. The first line of this code actually changes the font size to zero. So that text is technically still there, but it's just not visible for us. Now that it's gone, we're going to enter a new line of code that adds our own text to it. Now this new line of code uses the same selector above, but says after. We're technically placing this text after the text that was there before. This right here is the part that you'll want to change. Edit this text to be your own statement and you'll see a change right here on the site. After that, we've said font size one REM. You can also say something like maybe 19 PX if you want it to be that size or maybe 12. Edit that to change the font size to whatever you'd like it to be. One rem worked perfectly for my own site. Then after that, we have line height. This part's super important if you have a longer statement. Let's go ahead and add more text here. And now when we hop onto the mobile device, you'll see that that wraps around to two lines. If you remove line height, the text is gonna get super jumbled and not look great. So make sure you've added line height. And then this right here is 1.25 REM. That's perfect for the font size I'm using. But again, you can use like a pixel height if that's something you're more comfortable with. There we go, 16 PX, maybe 25, super customizable, whatever suits the style of the font that you're using. Just don't forget to edit the line height as well as the font size and change the text here between the quotation marks to your own message. Whatever you've customized, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to change that text on a Squarespace website. Make sure you update the text, update the font size, and update the line height so it looks amazing on mobile. And one more time, this is not legal advice. I do not offer legal advice, and it is your responsibility to make sure your website and everything on it is compliant. All right, have fun with those codes below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments and definitely give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest tutorial because I post a new one every single week. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.